Hey guys, it's Howard Crampton Jr. It is Thursday, a little bit afternoon, out here in Huntington Beach, sitting in front of Zach's food patio. Uh, it's a really chill spot, got a bunch of surfboards around and a little bit of repair I think goes on there too. They have a food uh, restaurant place, just ordered a turkey sandwich and it was outstanding. So, uh, so every time I come to the beach, I just feel so elevated. I get to tune out, I get to tune in, just to being present with the uh, waves, with the infinite expanded ocean out in front of me, the birds, the people, people skating by, walking by, riding their bikes. It's just a, a beautiful experience. So this thought had transpired about when we experience problems or limiting experiences in life. And it's my understanding, it's either because one of two reasons, it may be both. Anytime you experience a problem, tune in and ask yourself, you know, what need am I really valuing in experiencing a certain problem? Typically because we're valuing certain needs over others, such as the need for security. Now, if you think about valuing your need for security, every action you take is going to be to protect yourself, to protect your emotions, to make sure that you're safe and certain that everything is going to be okay, right? Versus maybe valuing the need for connection or love or growth or even contribution. Now imagine that. Valuing the need for even love. Every action you take, if that's what you value, is going to be in service for other people. Really tuning into the good that's around you, the good in other people, and nurturing that. Therefore, you might have certainty by faith and be okay with putting yourself out there versus um, hesitating because you want to make sure that it's going to be okay, right? Well, the other part of it too is um, a contracted awareness. Now, when you're experiencing a problem, it's like looking through your house through a really tiny window. You can only see a portion of what's happening in the world outside of you, right? You know that there's so much going on, but you're limited by the view in which you're perceiving the world. So you can go to an expanded awareness where now you might walk outside or go to a larger window and you see much more of the world, right? But there's still the horizon. And let me show you a picture here of the, of the ocean. So we have expanded awareness of uh, our surroundings. You can see the ocean, you can see the horizon way back there. You can't really see past the ocean, so you're still limited in that experience as well. So you tune into a third level, which is more of a pure awareness, where you know that there's something else out there. You might not know exactly what or understand how it can be there, but you know that it's there. So I encourage you all, in any problem that you're experiencing in life, just to pause for a moment, to tune out your thoughts, to be present to your surroundings, to notice if you are in, in a contracted awareness, to go to an expanded awareness and really take in much more around you. And then from there, really understand that there is a pure awareness that all life exists everywhere, all of the time. And even though you don't have an answer, you can ask. Your word is that powerful and you will get the answer that you need if you believe that it will be given unto you. Okay, so I'll leave you with that. Have a great Thursday. Have a wonderful, beautiful weekend. Um, it's gonna be beautiful down by the beach. And uh, look forward to seeing you all around the site. Take care.